Who? Get in the car? Who? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Oh, my God. I'll say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Oh, 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 say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Get your food. Who? Get in the car? Who? Hey, 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 hey. Get your food. Get your food. If you say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Oh my God, I'll say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Oh, 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 say one more thing, I'm going to knock you out. Get your food. Who? Get in the car. A disturbing case unfolds in court. A mother accused of ordering her son to commit murder in a West Pullman restaurant. The mother and son are now charged, both of them. Elizabeth Matthews joins us now with more on this developing story. Elizabeth? Yeah, Natalie, that mom who's accused of giving those shoot-to-kill orders is now being held on $3 million bail. Parts of that shooting were actually captured on this restaurant's surveillance video, which helped the witnesses identify the suspects to police. So this all happened Sunday night, police tell us, just after 11 o'clock, about 11.05 p.m. 35-year-old Carlisha Hood and her 14-year-old son arrived at the Maxwell Street restaurant on South Halstead at 117th. Hood went in for food. Her son waited in the car. Prosecutors say that's when she began arguing with this man, 32-year-old Jeremy Brown, who was also inside ordering food at the time. Hood, Hood began texting her son, who appeared in the doorway. And a disturbing case. And the victim, the victim was able to punch the woman once. That's when prosecutors say the boy pulled out a gun, fired a single shot to the victim's back, followed him outside, kept firing, striking him fatally twice in the back. Once outside of the restaurant, while the co-defendant was still shooting at the victim, the defendant instructed her son, the co-defendant, to continue to shoot and kill the victim. Once the co-defendant finished shooting the victim, the defendant turned her focus towards witness one. She began pointing at witness one and instructing her son to shoot her. Prosecutors say the hood even tried to get the gun from her son, but he pushed her away. No shots were fired at that witness, who is also the victim's girlfriend. Both mother and son facing murder charges. She's also charged with contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The teen boy also facing unlawful use and possession of a fund and the victim.